Oh, what is this? Josh Moon, owner of Cooey Farms. Oh, did he just post this? Oh, he's watching, isn't he? Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh. Your mangled penis is out there all over the internet. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame that your broken and mangled penis is all over the internet now. And I've been calling you broke dick. By the way, killstream.live slash shop. Did you know? I guess I should do a little shilling here. Where's the... Don't I have... Don't I have the shop link on here? Oh, yeah, I do. Maybe it's best I do a little shilling, you know. It's nothing wrong with that. Oh, and by the way, Gator designed this. So... Every one of these you buy is another dollar that fat gator who eats 12 donuts at the same time doesn't get and that I get off his labor. So each each one of these you buy is more money that I make off that dumb slug. So not only are you getting a funny shirt, but he's getting bupkis for it. No donuts, not even the glaze, nothing. He gets nothing for it. All profits to me. Like they always were, except his little two hundred dollars per month. I was giving this nigga like a welfare check, basically, and he wasn't even worth the welfare check. And I called it. I said this nigga's dick was broke. He said it. There's a clip. I wish I might be able to find it between now and tomorrow's show. But there's a there's a clip where he goes on and on explaining how his dick is mangled from a botched circumcision and he can't feel pleasure from sex and like he's just like full black pilled about it. And I played it on this show at least three or four times. But it's been a couple of years, right? Like I don't just have it laying around. I wish I did because I would play it right now. Let's see. Josh Moon. Hmm. I don't know. You would think there would be something. You'd think there would be something on YouTube search, but honestly it just sucks now. Let me see. I'll look BitChute real quick. Also, they're fucking over BitChute. They froze their bank accounts. I'll probably talk about that some tomorrow, too. There's a lot of stories that I've kind of missed. Uh, the audio is definitely still out there somewhere. I've played it on... Um, I've played it on air. Jim and Toker sent $3. Got a hot one for you guys. <laughs> a penguin pulled into a gas station and said, full her up and look it over. I'll be at the cafe. Everything looks good, but it looks like you blow a seal. No, no, I swear it's just ice cream. Fuck this guy, Jim is trash. It's trash. Anonymous sent $3. I completely forget about Metoka and all Kiwi Fag Ralph detractors when they're not spoken about, but was hoping for a show from you each day you were gone. Thank you. You're funny and they're gay, no cap, no cap. I appreciate that. I shouldn't even give it attention, but it's so bad, I honestly just can't help it. I can't help it. And it's just so low. Just unfunny. Low tier. Weird. Medicare shit was weird. At least the psycho making memes about my dog and shit. At least I understand the, the mentality there. Uh, he thinks that bothers me, but I, I can understand that. I don't even understand what Medicare... Medicare's just typing out some weird, like... I don't know if it's medication fucking with his brain or something. Like, his shit's just weird. I understand... The psycho trying to, you know, defile the memory of my dog. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. Um, but, I, you know, I don't understand what Medicare's doing at all. <laughs> Sorry to derail sent $3, but Gypsy Crusader confirmed release from federal prison in January. Would you be open to an interview? Uh, Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably have one. Man, fuck. Ah, I need to follow back up on... If somebody... Uh, I was supposed to have on, let's see. I don't want to say it in public because. Because it wasn't confirmed, but they had approached me. I just now remembered about that. Uh, but yeah, we caught it with the broke dick. I don't know if I can find the clip. Uh, it would be funny. What in the world? By the way, it's so hilarious. When I when I started this about his dick being broke, I didn't start it, by the way. He's the one that said it. There was, like, thread after thread, uh, and excuse me, post after post, and thread after thread of these faggots on Kiwi Farms, like, actually being so upset that I was talking about his broke dick. Like, it makes them see, like, nothing else. And I think it's because it makes him so mad. 
uh, is the only thing I can figure. Let's see. Uh, there's got to be. Did he scrub it from his own fucking site? I think he did. I wonder if it's in that um, that Onion Farms post. I'm, I'll have to get back up with that person. I talked to the. I I, I had had some contact with the. I knew there was a big drop coming. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but I don't see that actual file, unfortunately. I know it's out there. It's so fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, let's see. Please. I think he scrubbed it. I think he scrubbed it off his faggot site. What an absolute bitch. What an absolute faggot bitch. The big, bad, tough owner of Kiwi Farms. Who can talk all this shit. Oh, boy. Fuck. Ah, uh, we'll find out. Don't worry. I probably won't be able to find it on the air, though, because... It, like it looks like they scrubbed it. They actually have a thread when I was talking about his dick being broke. But it looks like they... It looked like um it looks like they scrubbed it. Uh it's literally him going on like a two or three minute soliloquy. Josh Moon's Moon Craters sent three dollars Medicare's pulling his shoe by yanking out and stress eating his own hair since he lost his Twitter. Yeah. What a fucking loon. No worries. The downward spiral is being thoroughly documented. Dude, it really is. I'm not just saying this. It's just really weird and it's definitely a downward spiral. It's not it's not funny or amusing. And the bit he's he's even riffing off of wasn't funny the first time he started it. And it's even less funny now. All right, let's see. Uh is this uh what is this? No, it's not. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. Okay, you know what? Speaking of jokes. I'll get back to this. I'll get back to this tomorrow. I want that audio, and I'm going to get that fucking audio again. I know I played it on the show. So if I have to go through my archives to get it, I will. Cleo, what are you meowing at? Meow? Good girl. She said she knew that she was a good girl already. What? <laughs> oh, I'm back. So it's time for you to get back on there, huh? Shameless. All right. Now let me play. Okay. So first, Ricada, we haven't even played the Ricada stuff yet. Wow. It's all falling down from mine, huh? Mangled dick is leaked. Ricada out as <laughs> apparently Ricada's fucking dudes now, too. I don't even know, man. <clears throat> Breaking Josh Moon owner. By the way, Esoteric Shaggyism is one of the best follows on Twitter. Uh, and go follow him now. He's been doing such great work fucking up our enemies that it's, like, amazing. He's like a one-man fucking wrecking crew. And they can't even come close to fucking with this guy. So definitely follow him. And <laughs> they fucked with the wrong dude when they got him on our team. <laughs> for sure. They really fucking put the wrong guy on our team. <laughs> Cause he, cause he ain't fucking around. <clears throat> he ain't fucking around, and he has been like burning them too. PPP was seething about Shaggy. Yeah, I bet he was. Caesar says sent three dollars. Are you still looking for writers? I do have yes. experience and think it would be fun on the side. Yes, and I'm gonna try to get back to several people. Uh, actually reached out to me very kindly to to offer to, to to help with that, and I am gonna get back with that. I just haven't. My dog died, and I just took some days off, and then I had some of this other stuff I've been trying to deal with, and so I apologize uh, that I hadn't got back with you guys, but, uh, guys, but yes, I will. I'm going to make another note. Tomorrow morning, um, we'll probably do a um, a Transformer fun show tomorrow, and then if that hits, we'll go, you know, we'll probably do an all-day show, um, but I'll make a note because I'll be up in the morning. And I'll be able to respond to some of those emails. 
Uh, now this is uh, this is uh, esoteric. So shaggy, as I call him, says breaking Josh Moon, owner of Kiwi Farms, threatens to ban users asking him to properly address the Ricada spiral rather than repeat his unfunny anime bit and sweep it up. Null has yet to respond to the cuck he gave a section of his site to use as a personal army for years. Uh, Keep trying to force me to do something to see what happens. Somebody said. What dirt does rackets, rackets have on you that you won't call him out on this filth? Apparently, uh, Ricada getting absolutely just dragged. Null's defense is listing a bunch of people he's featured before and claiming nobody cares about the videos of Ricada flipping out. This isn't Lolcow worthy because Lolcow, because King Lolcow hasn't declared it as such. Yeah. He won't feature it on his site because he's too busy fucking... Crying about his literally broken dick. I was right. Can we put can we put another can we put another dollar in the Ralph was right jar? Can we can we do a little can we do a little respect? Can we do a little Ralph respecting right now? Cause the pictorial evidence is out there. Your dick is broke and mangled and actually looks like a fucking horror show. It looks like one of, what's that movie Freaks or whatever that they made in like the 1920s? That's the type of shit that it looks, it looks like some just like absolute freak show. That's your penis that doesn't work. And your one wish, your one hope. I read this post a couple years ago and they made up the lie that I wanted to have kids just to one up Josh Moon. There it is. The Ralph is right jar. Thank you. So he wrote this post about the one thing he wanted in life was to start a family and his 20s are, are running out and all he wants to do is start a family and he's realizing life is short now and all this. So they invented, I wanted to have kids for a long time. Hold on, go ahead. Thank you, Speckle brother. Trout sent $5, Ralph was right. I never said I didn't want kids, ever. And they created a false story saying that I did and that I only wanted kids and had them because I was trying to one-up Josh Moon. Nah, nigga, my dick is not broken. I plan on procreating this entire time. That was you who knew you wouldn't be able to procreate. And you were crying about it and whining about it like a fag. Like is what you've done your whole entire life. We got an archive a fucking mile long of you whining and crying like an absolute fag on a forum your whole entire life. So yeah, so no doubt why it's life or death for you to keep up Kiwi Farms because you have literally nothing without that. Literally nothing. Your entire life has been spent jacking it to child porn, prote actually participating and protecting pedophiles and enabling the most psychotic people on the internet. So, the storm is coming, buddy. And we're just getting started. Because I've been told to stay tuned. That's what I've been told. I've been told to stay tuned that it gets much better. Much better than your mangled member being on display to the world. It gets even better than that, is what I was told. So I'll just have to say what they told me. Stay tuned and be on the lookout for more drops. Not on Kiwi Farms, because they're going to censor it there. No, not on Kiwi Farms, on Onion Farms. I want to provide you the direct link again. And by the way, there's a little bit of negative shit written about me over there. I don't give a fuck. They seem like a fair place, though. But you won't find that. You won't find that on Kiwi Farms. You'll find that censored. You'll find yourself banned. You'll find him coping for Ricada the Cuck. Oh, boy. It's not over until all these people are broken. That's my mindset. And uh, it ain't never going to change. Jade Fox sent $3. Josh Moon bloodline is dead end. Ancestors cry. No good, no good. Broken branch. Broken manhood. No make babies. No. Ancestors cry. I am one. No. Then he said, wait, is this, is this his big long explanation? Let me see. I'll have to zoom in. Every single time someone I go on a podcast with has some fucking stupid drama, some low IQ N word starts going, Josh. Feature this or else you're defending your friends. Bro, him calling people who criticize the trad larp incels is not front page shit. Nobody cares. Wrong. 
The people who care already follow this thread. Nobody who doesn't follow this thread is going to find the videos. You're chimping out over interesting. Wrong. You're absolutely wrong. That is the sole criteria for what is feature-worthy content. Dumb fact. This happened with Ralph. This happened with Dick. This happened with PPP. Oh, you mean all people you had a falling out with? This will happen again with Rakeda. I do not care. You're not going to compel me to feature anything before I feel it meets my criteria. Yeah, his criteria. This guy is an absolute fag. He doesn't have a say on anything on this godforsaken fucking internet. He doesn't have some special crown. He doesn't get to decide what's what. And he's going to burn in fucking hell. This motherfucker doesn't have shit. He's a fucking mealy-mouthed, broke dick, got molested as a child. That's why he has the vocal fry. Got absolutely molested and abused and treated like trash, like the absolute garbage he is. And I think he enjoyed it. You notice how he froze up when I confronted him with that on the dick show? Yeah, if you don't know about the old vocal fry, there's a reason that shit don't just usually develop. It's because he was molested as a child. And there's all kinds of literature and research on that, by the way. And all you have to do is do a little Googling, and you can damn sure read it. And I'm not kidding. And that ain't no fucking LARP. That ain't no fucking story. That's the truth. Like Worski. That's right. Now, in every case, no, but uh, it's a damn big Moment sign. Of silence sent $3 Flamenco, Gemma Tokor, Shyster Rikita, Comfy TV, Kiwi Farms, Worski, Worski Jr., PPP, Gator, and all the alogs we lost along the way. Also, Josh Moon's penis is to penises with Lad Luna's <laughs> vagina flaps are to step on Arby's roast beef. Uh, oh, God. Oh, wait, I got to finish reading this. We got to play the Rikada videos. We still haven't even played them. This happened with Ralph. This happened with Dick. I don't want to feature anything before I feel it meets my criteria. If this upsets you, feel free to cry like a bitch in this thread, but don't tag me. The way he's handling this is pathetic and juvenile, and I don't understand why they all react to gossip on this forum in the exact same way. He's like three steps from a proper tart out, and when it happens, Same's I'm sure I'll be notified. Three dollars. Good yeah. to see you back, Thank mate. You. I've been listening at work. The show has been great. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Three steps away. These small fuckers. <laughs> okay, I'll let, the, I'll let the audience decide. I'll let the Killstream audience, which built that faggot show, by the way, Rakeda and this faggot show. Without me, Rakeda's chasing ambulances in Minnesota. Poorly. While Drexel takes care of his wife back home. Fact. Fact, fact, fucking fact. Now let's watch the videos. Again, uh, here's the thing. Uh, oh, wait, let, well, let's read the description first. Nick Ricada has been caught at a gay bar named Gay 90s hosting a underwear party and karaoke in Minneapolis as a birthday present from his wife. Ricada did this blasted on MDMA. By the way, I'm not sure if he knows this. That's not the type of stuff you want to be saying with a house full of kids on your... If he really said that, that's going to be a problem in his life. His wife is his biggest A-log. By the way, Godwinson, has he made another stream? I've been trying to arrange some things. I shouldn't speak on it, but, uh, well, I had some ideas. I had some ideas since they were, since they've been targeting Godwinson, trying to uh, snuff out his videos, trying to take him down on YouTube. I had a couple ideas. I'll leave them to myself for now, but, uh, Some places are safer than others. You might even say fortress-like. But let's continue. 
Nick Ricada has been caught at a gay bar named Gay 90s hosting an underwear party and karaoke in Minneapolis as a birthday present from his wife. Ricada did this blasted on MDMA. This comes only three months after Ricada attended a swingers resort in Jamaica. Again, uh, here's the Oh, thing. Gobbleson was on a roll. They wanted to take him down for that reason. Yeah, like that was like... And then they immediately went into the gay Gobbleson did it himself cope, which that is something PPP and them have done before. But it's like, nah. Y'all took him down because Gobbleson was just eating your lunch. Gobbleson was slapping these niggas around in a way that you rarely even see. Like, dude, look at this video. You don't even have to say anything and say faggot. Like, seriously. Do you? Look what he's wearing. I'm starting to think Drexel's fucking him in the ass, not his wife. Like, what in the fuck? What is that? Man, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I can't. Dude, they just handed up on a silver platter. Like, what in the world? Does he just want me to? Like, they want me to win. Like, like what in the world is this? Yes, you hear Rosie. She's doing okay. She's yelling. They said you hear her? Yes, I hear her too. She's fine. She's a baby. She does yell at this one. Go ahead. Ralph <laughs> Maniac sent three dollars where lawyer Rikita is torpedoing himself. Yeah. He's obviously gay. His wife craves the big hard ones. He will be a base gay conservative grifter before the end of twenty twenty three. Twink and just pathetic. Yeah, I think you're right. All right, you know what? I said enough. Let's watch. Again, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Lady Lady Raggeds took me to the uh, karaoke bar and then the underwear bar for my birthday, right? We had a, we had a fun time. Um, What? To, uh, how did this even come out? Man, SO, I got to talk to you, man. How, how the fuck did this even come out, dude? Like, did he share this of his own volition? Did she share this? Like, why the fuck did he just volunteer? Like, this just seems like, literally, how can I make Ralph's Christmas a little bit brighter if he was thinking about how to do that? That this would be what he would do, right? Like, I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand what he's thinking. He's his own A-Law. Yeah, and I was like, dude, okay, maybe she's just... This guy's struggling. I don't I don't know, man. Because it's 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 just really bizarre. It's kind of like the Medicare behavior too. It's like, uh, is this guy okay? Are these people okay? <laughs> Maybe y'all need to <laughs> to turn the internet down a little bit. Like I don't know if it's like completely rotted your brain. That's another reason I think people just couldn't understand. Uh, yeah, I just turned off the fucking computer. And didn't pick up my phone unless it was to look at ESPN or some shit, which I only did that like once. It was the World Cup. It's like, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I just logged off. And didn't I know that that's rare for me? That's true. But is it that unprecedented when I'm dead? <laughs> it's like, okay. I mean, I guess maybe, maybe if that's your thought, maybe you need to just turn off the computer a little bit. Not that I haven't had an overdose on internet in my day either, but it's like, dude, look at Ricada. Look at where Ricada is right now compared to where he was in 2018 when he was coming on the kill stream for the first time. Look at where he sits. Look at what he wears. Look at how he's embarrassed himself. He's talking about being blasted on drugs with his whore wife. His kids, allegedly his kids, think about where he was in 2018 and where he is now. And by the way, this was always him. And I said that. I said, Ricada behind the scenes is an absolute fucking sick fuck. And they didn't want to believe it. They didn't want to hear it. They said, Ralph's making up shit. Well, Ralph wasn't making up a damn thing. And guess what? Guess what I just said two weeks ago? And somebody reminded me who was in Knoxville. 
about Mrs. Ricada being there with Pinecone Girl, who was her favorite best bitch at the whole event. They hung out together the whole time. I'm not kidding. I think it was because... Don't get me started. She, Mrs. Ricada was trying to fuck Worski too, but anyway. I said at that event, she was quoted, and I remember it was in my earshot. Where can we get some of the harder stuff? Because I just had some weed. I was still on probation at the time. Of course, I wasn't going to not smoke weed, but... I did for a long time, and then I just finally said, whatever, I'm going to smoke. Um, but there was weed and alcohol. Mrs. Ricada specifically asked, where's the harder stuff? Like, as in cocaine or what? Like, I don't know what the bitch wanted. Maybe MDMA. So I didn't bring enough drugs for your whore wife across the country. <laughs> <coughs> I don't have any coke, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Matt, this bitch would do anything. Are you kidding me? There ain't a drug this bitch wouldn't sniff up. There ain't a single solitary drug this bitch wouldn't sniff up. Again, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Lady Lady Raggeds took me to the uh, karaoke bar and then the underwear bar for my birthday. <laughs> right? We had a we had a fun time. Yeah. Um. Two uh, two lesbians tried to pick us Man up. Man fading two, in the night sent ten dollars. Two lesbians tried to pick them up. Hey, those are called hookers, Nick. Yeah, hey, Nick, those are called hookers. Sorry, I got carried away. This has been a fun show back. I really miss this show when I'm not around to do it. So, honestly, I just didn't want to. I really love my dog a lot, and it makes me think about my mom. And so, I don't know if they want to. I ain't going to get on here. Ah, you know. I think I teared up once. I was talking about my mom. She passed and stuff. You know, I don't I don't uh, find it a shaming thing or anything like that. But also, I don't like, I don't like needlessly wallowing in front of people or whatever. So, so that's why I didn't want to do that. If I was to read that PewDiePie story, I would probably cry, honestly. Uh, what he said about his dog passing, uh, Maya, I believe, um, was exactly how I felt about Tug. So, um, but I'm not, I don't know. Sometimes I feel... I don't want I didn't want to get on here and like, you know, I know I'm talking about it tonight and everything, but you know, get on here and kind of like wallow and all that. It's like, well, I'll take a few days to myself and move and try to move past. Man fading in the night sent three dollars. We love you, Ralph. Thank you, brother. I love you guys too. I'm gonna finish this clip. I think I'm actually might be worse than Worski, but I'm just keep thinking of more things to say about this faggot. I can't even believe he's wearing this. Why would he have this on? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, boy. Steve Freshett sent $10. We all missed you, Ralph. Thank you, brother. I had so many nice messages, um, and I still haven't got to catch up on all of them. Um, it really is like a family around here on Cozy.TV. Um, I don't say that lightly. Uh, and even like any family, we've had a couple little squabbles here or there. Uh, but nothing too major, and and we've always, um, you know, had each other's backs. Especially, um, you know, I feel like this was another big, like, content war, basically, this year that we won. Um, that they tried to defeat us, and not only did we win, we won in, like, the most spectacular fashion possible. Uh, and they're still continuing to lose. Uh, 
I, I don't see it as any less than they declared war on me. They declared war on Nick Fuentes. They declared war on Cozy.TV, and their mission was to take us down, and they lost badly. So, yeah, that's how I see this year. And I think it's kind of hard not to see it that way. And, yeah, that's true. Somebody said, oh, you're only gone two days. That's true. But, I mean, I skipped the weekend, too. The way I've been streaming, it was a little abnormal to not see me for four full days because I didn't come back in the weekend either. Um, because I've been streaming like a madman, so people are like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Again, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Lady Lady Raggeds took me to the uh, karaoke bar and then the underwear bar for my birthday. Right? Yeah. We had a, we had a fun time. Good. Um, I'm glad y'all did that. Seriously. Two uh, two lesbians tried to pick us up, and two two gay men tried to have sex with me. I I like I don't know. We had a <laughs> oh man oh man i i i want i'm thinking about one person and i won't i won't say their name because i don't want to put them in the middle of this not that Ricada would have that sort of respect for me, but I have that respect for this person, not Ricada. I just have, I just want to know what one person's thought is when they hear that. One person. I actually just want to know what they were thinking when they, when they heard this clip from Ricada. And then I want to know what they were thinking <laughs> was their next reaction. What is Ralph going to say? <laughs> when he sees that? Uh, None of them succeeded, but it was a good. Okay, so much a bunch of gay guys tried to fuck you. They didn't succeed, allegedly. By the way, you lied about everything else. You lied about being a hedonism too. You lied about your wife being slutted out. You lied about all this. Some people in chat are pretty perceptive. I'll just say that. I can't stop. I can't stop us. <laughs> we might be here all night. I don't know if I can play so good. <laughs> Want to know what that person thinks? Two cent, three dollars, even putting aside the disagreeable lifestyle. Rat Hakia is undeniably the worst at presenting slash 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 defending his position. Yeah. Just comes off as weasel and gee. Gonna be a diggin? At least try to be chat about it. Yeesh. Yeah, he always looks so sheepish. And even when he tells people to, to fuck off, basically. He still sounds like a bitch. It's like, okay, damn. Somebody on Onion Farms, please give me that Josh Moon audio, by the way. Man, fuck. I'm just about to message that guy right now. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? Oh, man, it's awesome. Man, it's awesome. Awesome work. I'm sending that right now. Awesome work. Awesome work on that fag. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, oh. I need the moon audio. I need the moon audio where he talks about how broke his dick is. I bet this guy will find it. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, but it's cool when you're me because um, people who, who hate Josh Moon already know that I hate him, and so they just randomly approach me with, like, dirt on him and... I don't know, their plans for 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 his threads and uh you know not their exact plans but just be on the lookout for a drop and I think you're going to enjoy this one and it's kind of cool because people just send me dirt on my enemies all the time like I don't even I don't really usually have to look for any dirt because when you're established as a tabloid god, it just comes to you naturally, really. People just... I'm not kidding. <laughs> I very rarely have to seek anything out. Again, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Lady Lady Raggeds took me to the uh, karaoke bar and then the underwear bar for my birthday, right? We had a, we had a fun time. Um, two... Uh, Two lesbians tried to pick us up, and two two gay men tried to have sex with me. 
I, I like, I don't know. We had a, none of them succeeded. It was a good fucking time. Have, have fun in your fucking life. How is the sex, Nick? If I'm, am I still sore? This dude's drunk as fuck, but they're fucked up on something. Like he's not. What is he doing? Do they talk, dude? If I was to have had something like this, they would be talking about pill stream part forty five. Um, can we call CPS? Uh, get his kids taken away. It's like, dude, and you know that's how they would be. You know that's exactly they would be like, what kind of, uh, you know, how can we contact CPS in his state? And, uh, I mean, oh, <sighs> uh, look at, look at Kenneshe the rat. Yeah, follow my lead, bitch, like you always do. <laughs> Jacuzzi sent $3. Even the cuck goblet is tiki themed to keep the mood festive. By the way, the one, <laughs> that's true. That's true. By the way, the one thing Josh Moon threw. Kenneshe off his site because Kenneshe is such a massive faggot that even on Kiwi Farms, they're like, you're a massive faggot. Which, just think about, think about what a faggot you have to be. Think about the levels of faggotry you have to achieve to where they're just like, wow, you're really an autistic, self-promoting, annoying faggot. I mean, you, it, it's like an astronomical level. He's been kicked off twice. And he tried to come back the second time with some little mustache. You know, it was obviously him. And I guess he thought they were going to let him stay. But Josh Moon Moon genuinely doesn't like this guy. And I don't either. And we agree. We agree. This guy's a loser. He should, uh, well, our friends at Right Wing Watch are watching. He should do the right thing, as we say. We don't want to offend Kristen. You know, I know she's got delicate sensibilities. I know Sweetie's got delicate sensibilities. We don't want to offend her. She's probably getting worked up into quite a lather by now. I don't want her to fuck up Anonymous the finish. And three dollars, nigga. She took you to a sex club for your B-day because she wanted to get in the bone zone by black dudes. LOL. <laughs> right. Again, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Lady Lady Raggeds took me to the uh, karaoke bar and then the underwear bar for my birthday. Right. We had a, we had a fun time. Um. To. Uh, Two lesbians tried to pick us up, and two two gay men tried to have sex with me. I I like I don't know. We had a, none of them succeeded, but it was a good fucking time. Have have fun in your fucking life. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> How is the sex, Nick? If I'm, am I still sore? I'm having. Are you still Stimulant sore? Holy shit. Three dollars. God blesses those who bless Ralph and curses those who curse Ralph. Mister Metoker in Genesis twelve two to three. It's very true. It's very true. Also, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, my God. Damn, is that Ricada? Wait, hold on. I don't even know if that's real. I'm going to... Oh, I'm not just going to cover this tonight. We're going to do a whole other segment on this tomorrow. I mean... Shit, I don't even know. Like this might I might put this in the intro of the show. How is the sex, Nick? If I'm am I still sore? Bitch, I already told you I was on MDMA. The sex was fucking fantastic. <laughs> Scott. This guy's trying so hard to be Dick Masterson, but, like, he can't be Dick Masterson because he's an uncool faggot. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, literally, do you know what I mean? He's, like, <laughs> if Dick was to tell the exact same story, <laughs> it would sound cool and hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's, like... <laughs> He's like, he's ripped off Dick Masterson, but gay and unfunny. <laughs> right, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Broke dick, yeah. It's like <laughs> bizarro dick or something. It's like, you could give you could give Dick Masterson the exact same material. And good night, White Yater, Yater Aid. I hope to see you tomorrow. You could give him the exact same material. And he would tell the story and it would be hilarious. 
with all not just some this is weird like the way he's talking he's like all zonked out like dick would actually be an entertainer and tell it in a funny way this just comes off as some sad pathetic cuck playing dress up i'm just being real that's what it comes off as and i'm not the only one saying that i'm not the only one saying that at all it's it is it's legitimately just like embarrassing and I don't know if it's a midlife crisis or what, but that's true. Dick and Nick have won the same amount of court cases as attorneys. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. Well, I mean, you know, Dick didn't represent himself, but Maddox lost. So you, I was on MDMA. The sex was fucking fantastic. Okay. Have you ever had sex on MDMA? It's a whole different life. Like, it's weird. You know what? Steve Frank yeah, I have actually. $10. <laughs> it's not really that. Is this the first time this nigga's ever tried drugs? You know what I mean? Like, what is he even? <laughs> what? Have you ever had sex on MDMA? Yeah. <laughs> uh. What is this? Fe like. <laughs> yes, all right. Like, what is he even talking about? But you know what I mean? It's like, oh boy, it's like a 12 year old or some shit. Oh, have you ever, well, man, have you ever had sex with MDMA? It's not really that impressive, dude. What, you've taken a roll at a club and had sex? Okay, that's. Oh, whoa, man. Oh, whoa, man. That's like mundane shit in the first place. What are you, 12? Yeah, have you ever had a cigarette? <laughs> I was... <laughs> Shit, I was buying rolls for $5. I was buying rolls for $5 a piece at 16 years old in Memphis, Tennessee. Right outside Graceland, as a matter of fact, we were talking about earlier. This dude's 40 years old talking like he's 16. In a really weird... <laughs> And like trying to prove himself almost type way, which I don't understand. Have you ever had sex on MDMA? It's a whole different life. Like, Whoa, man. Whoa, you don't man. want to do it every day. Oh, you don't want to do it every day. Yeah. Societal P says he's pretending like it's all new to him. You don't want to do it every day. You know shit. This is literally the shit like. He sounds like. A teenager, like literally just like some fucking like, whoa, dude. Plus, like, I don't know, man. Have you ever had sex on MDMA? It's a whole different life. Like, it's weird. You don't want to do it I, <laughs> every day. First off, sex on LSD is way better than sex on MDMA. So that's also just like pathetic and you don't even know what you're talking about. Um, but it's not... <laughs> So, first off, actually, that's kind of an inferior, that's kind of an inferior uh, substance there. If you want to talk about, like, mind-blowing things to have sex on, that's not really that big a deal. Uh, second off, you sound like, see, I can talk about this shit normally, like, and not sound like an absolute fag. The chat's even, I see I see some of the heads in chat. No, I'm right, too, by the way. And it's not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. Be a good boy. You're right. There's nothing wrong with that. Somebody said, I wouldn't know I'm a good boy. Yeah, and honestly, the whole drug thing, you know, obviously, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I don't support, like, telling people to get on drugs. Like, yeah, I've done drugs, but I don't think... Um, you know, net, I would say drugs have been bad for my life. Honestly, like they're not good for you. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, weed probably has, you know, helped chill me out here or there. But if I was recommending, you know, a life path for people and they had the choice to never take drugs 
or take drugs, I'd probably say never take drugs. I don't really think, I used to think that drugs were like, you know, like this, this thing that you do, you know what I mean? Like it was an altering experience and it is, but I guess maybe it's just the age or I'm, you know, more experienced with them or whatever, but it just doesn't. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, oh man, if you, like, go oh God, you got to do this or that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure I'm making sense, but stimulant Kroeper sent $10. Nick Rikita is like a kid who just found out about swear words and wants to look cool. Yeah. He's trying so hard. Yeah. To look that's cool. a, that's exactly right. That's exactly what I feel like. For all niggas. Y'all niggas. Yes. That's that shit. I don't like Yo, shit. And it's like, I mean, yeah, I can sit here and talk about that, but it's almost like he's trying to promote that look in order to puff himself up or some shit. It's like, if I was talking about that, it would just be some real shit that came up in my story. Whereas him, it's fake. Pay homage or case bomb and ungrateful niggas I don't like. Fuck, nigga. Yo, fuck. They wanna find me not breathing, breathing like they found Mike. Oh, girl, run a mouth only out of spite. That's how they want to see me too, and you saw it. You saw how bad they wanted me dead. You saw it, just like I said. They want me dead. They want the Ralph Amell dead, and it ain't no fucking joke. They want this man dead, and it ain't gonna fucking happen anytime soon, motherfucker. <laughs> 2023? Are you kidding? Oh, oh. You saw how bad they wanted it. All right, let's get there. I love that song, man. Waldo Grow I percent three dollars. This dude was clinching his Waldo and using Aww. it as an autistic stress squeeze toy while his wife is getting rimmed by blacks at the sex club on his birthday. Mm. What in the world? Z underscore sent three dollars. What are the odds that Rikita and George Floyd crossed paths at some point in time on the mean streets of North <laughs> oh, Minneapolis no. or by Hawthorne or some shit? No. Did George go go full landlord? Killstream oh, no. forever sent ten dollars. By the way, what are they? Uh, I'm just looking at this nonsense. What are they even? <laughs> Did some? No, that's the person. Are they that dumb? They're so dumb. They're thinking that. That I like had a that that was like a troll email that that bitch sent me. No, it wasn't. She's written a story about me already. Several actually, for Right Wing Watch. I didn't see what anybody else said about it or try to get in on, but uh, I don't get that. It's just insanity. I haven't even been paying attention to their shit either for the last two weeks. So, so when I look in, I'm just like, what are y'all even talking about? No, it's not a troll. And by the way, putting out 
putting out that bitch's email is something that's very common, actually. An SPLC article just dropped on Nick Fuentes. For people who are familiar with Nick here on Kiwi Farms, most of it is a nothing burger and nothing that hasn't been covered before, except for one crucial piece. Urban officers discovered that simultaneous swatting calls had been conducted throughout multiple jurisdictions around the country and that all the victims were in the same group as Nicholas Fuentes. The last supplementary, supplementary report filed on June 6th noted that the Federal Bureau of Investigation has taken over the case. The FBI is officially investigating the swattings. Suddenly, Ethan Ralph is nowhere to be found. Run, piggy, run. They genuinely, like, that sounds like a psycho. Somebody actually wrote that. Like, I didn't, that wasn't a freestyle. Somebody actually fucking, somebody actually wrote that in a serious manner. By the way, y'all still ain't doxed me. That's pretty funny. It was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny when, uh, well, not just, uh, you ever seen a judge dunk on somebody, your opponent right in their face in court? And and your opponent, not saying anything about me personally, um, but I was watching an episode of Matlock earlier. You know, and uh, have you ever just been in court and like this episode of Matlock that I was watching? Of course, have you ever been in court and the judge absolutely bitch slaps your opponent, like happened on this episode of Matlock I was watching, and then and then is is lame and lowly and cheap. Attorney that's probably working for free appeared to be on this Matlock episode in exchange for who knows what. Who knows what? Because we know how slatternly we know how slatternly some people can be in the Matlock universe. Not only does the judge just absolutely <laughs> destroy you and your whole reason for being there, then your your dumbass lawyer <laughs> begs begs for this Matlock character to have to give up his coordinates and it's gold in no uncertain terms. No, that that doesn't have to occur. Well, well, well. Oh, and I got a little update by the way. It's sad. This Matlock episode, uh, it brought a tear to my eye earlier. Actually. Mm. Matlock was such a good show. You're right. Andy Griffith, American legend. By the way, that really happened on that Matlock episode. I want to be very clear. That was a blow-by-blow blow retelling of that Matlock episode. And it was really, really nice, I have to say. Oh, and I just want to give a little reminder. You know, last year, well, beginning of this year, unfortunately, a bogus charge was brought against yours truly. I did plead no contest to it because I just wanted to clear it off the table not deal with it. My lawyer was more than ready, <laughs> matter of fact, to go to war on it. But I figured it was better to just clear it off the table, try to focus on my, my kids, et cetera. Uh, I pled no contest to it, which they accepted uh, because they knew they didn't have a case. They offered me a guilty plea at first, and I told them that I wouldn't plead guilty. Uh, they were afraid to take the case to trial because actually the law is unconstitutional. In Virginia, I think uh, I may be the only one convicted on, uh, under that law in Virginia. I don't know. So they're not really confident in the whole revenge porn law in the first place. So they offered me a guilty plea, and I said no. And uh, I said I would plead no contest, though. And so I pled no contest. But as part of that, they gave me a one-year suspended sentence. And they gave that to me on January the 5th, 2022. Now, I don't know if you guys know what day it is. But it's December the 21st now. There's only so many more days left. Actually, there's 15 more days left. For fat faggots from the Matlock universe. To do what they do. I don't like their chances, though. I don't like their chances. I really don't. But you never know. Matlock's a hell of a show. If you ever had sex on MDMA, it's a whole different life. Like, it's weird. You don't want to do it every day. You do not want to do it every day. Like, MDMA every day will kill you. 
No shit. But uh, actually, it won't kill you. I know it's the day I used to buy. Well, there were rolls, whatever. Um, not pure MMA. But uh, there is a difference. I won't get into all that. I'm not trying to do a drug. I didn't know we were doing drug shows now, Ricardo. Okay, God bless. Fuck. Okay, am I really going to have to bust out my knowledge? Like, this is ridiculous. Anyway, the guy I used to buy weed from when I was a kid got on, like, rolls all the time. And he, like, fried his brain on. And it didn't kill him. It didn't kill him, but, like, he literally, like, wasn't the same person. He did rolls so often did it just like fry? It just like cooked his brain, dude. Like I, I don't even. Man, it's depressing now when I think about it, dude. Yeah, it just made him like completely like a zombie husk. He was just like a funny dude too. Like I don't know, man. He just, ugh. he was just completely pulled out. Yeah, I don't know. Sad. That actually makes me sad. I hadn't thought about that in a long time. But, uh, yeah, just like, it just, like, fried out his brain. Augustus says one of my friends did the same thing with LSD. Yeah. I don't know what he's wearing. His cuck T-shirt. It's exciting. Rick Nikita, when are you going to disable locals? This place is cancer. Probably tomorrow. Tech Priest Alex, I don't get the Puritans on Discord. They post real naked chucks, chicks all the time. Hypo- hypocrisies. Embrace your degeneracy. Fap the food and hint tentacles. He's completely trash in this. Hentai. Okay, there's another clip. Rackets. So Lady Rackets is taking me away from... Wait, wait. Okay, this is a clip. So this is... Nick Ricada was even bragging about it. Wait, Nick Ricada was even bragging about it even before it happened, much to the befuddlement of Dick Masterson. Nick refused to actually say what it is or the context of his wife slash himself being naked and drugged around a bunch of gay couples at a club. Rackets is taking me away from my birthday. Because I was going to stream tomorrow instead. She's taking me away. She's taking me to a... Uh, <laughs> she's taking me to a, a bar tomorrow. Or wait, no, Saturday. She's taking me to a bar on Saturday that is... Uh, it's an underwear bar. <laughs> wow, right. Yeah. yeah. Where do you find this stuff? Out in- <laughs> wow, where do you find this stuff? <laughs> Whoa, cool. Where do you find that? Hmm. Wow, where do you go looking? Where do you even go looking for something like that? I- <laughs> Have a glue. Okay, <laughs> that is uh, it's an underwear. Whoa! Bar. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Listen to his reaction. By the way, I haven't talked to Dick about this at all, and don't ever talk to him about that. Wear a bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's openly laughing in his face. His first reaction is to <laughs> laugh in Ricada's face. And it's like not able to be stopped. Now then he turns it into, oh, hey, where do you even find that? But his immediate reaction is to just laugh in his face. You notice that, right? Like he does shift a little bit immediately. And, you know, He's like, oh, hey, whoa, where do you find that? But his first reaction is just like, Uncontrolled laughter. And I'm sure it could be for several reasons. My main reason is, why are you saying this? Are you just trying to give me content? Like, I just don't even understand. Take me to a bar on Saturday that is, uh, it's an underwear bar. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Where do you find this stuff? Out in the middle of nowhere. So you're in the middle of nowhere? Well, we're going to Minnesota. In Minnesota, seriously? In uh, in, 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 yes, it's in the it's in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. Uh, you cannot get in if you're wearing clothes. You have to wear underwear. Do Somalis wear underwear? What the? Oh my god! Do Somalis wear underwear? Oh my god! By the way, the panel's ragging on him. Look at the panel; looks disgusted. Dick's got a huge smile on his face because he's laughing. 
The rest of the panel's like, what the fuck? Look at this one guy. What in the world? Literally, the one guy's literally like this. Like, oh. And the other people are just like uncomfortably like, what's going on? Look at this guy below Rakana too. Like, the bits in the middle? The only person who is not just like completely freaked right now is Dick, and it's because he's like running to laugh his ass off. She's she's nobody is in on this, by the way. Look at look at the reaction. Yeah, they're like, why is he saying this? No, literally, that's what they're like. Oh, what is he doing? You cannot get in if you're wearing clothes. You have to wear underwear. Do Somalis wear underwear? What the? Do Somalis wear underwear? Then that's making fun of Minnesota. Did Somalis rail Mrs. Rackets there at the underwear club? Oh, jeez. Uh, what in the world? Oh my god! So she's she's what, in underwear. It, I'm in underwear. How, we're gonna go have a we're gonna people get, have a fucking blast. Um, that's Saturday. Friday. Whose idea was that? Karaoke night at the same bar. We're gonna go do karaoke night. We're gonna have, have fucking fun. Baldo Groipa sent three dollars. He's such a cuck that his clothes got accidentally picked up from the pile, and his wife's bull gave him the tank because Rataka was shivering waiting by the door, and he oh. felt bad. Well, that was nice of him. Uh, probably you know, sing some shitty songs or whatever, and then I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the time, because those are only. Probably something degenerate. I had to guess. It's literally an hour out of each night that we're gonna do Look, that. This one guy turned his camera off. This fat nigga's trying not to laugh. He cut his camera off. Everybody is befuddled. Dick is just staring at amazement at this point. Nobody's on board. This one guy's like this. Other guy's like this. Like, I don't. I don't know what we're gonna do. The, the woman looks horrified. I'm not kidding either. Rest of the time. This because- fat, watch this fat guy turn his camera off. Holy shit. He's like. <laughs> Those are only, it's literally an hour out of each night that we're going to do that. Other than that, I don't know. She's got a bunch of surprises planned for me. Oh, does she? And we're going to go and have fun. I have no idea. Last Man. year, I think I sat in my office. Oh, no. There's more spurging. That's not good. If you doubt Ricardo was at a gay bar, here's a local Snapchat from the bar that very night. If you listen to the background, you can distinctly hear Nick Ricardo's nasally dork voice. Not to mention, if you look up Underpants Party plus Minneapolis only gay bars. Yeah, you can hear him. Listen. That's him saying, okay, I'm going to go. Too. Man, Shaggy goes hard, dude. Holy fuck. Thank God he's on our team. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy's like Kobe Bryant in his prime. <laughs> it might even be MJ. Like, I don't even know. What the fuck? Thank God esoteric Shaggyism is on our side. Holy shit, this guy goes hard. Shaggy's a hitman. Yeah, he's a straight killer, dude. <laughs> he really is. He looked up the Snapchat. Tech. Yeah, no, Peach knows. Like, oh, he went to the next level. Oh, he's got Snapchat clips? Just in case Ricada was going to try to weasel out of it. He's got Ricada talking in the background of some random Snapchat clip. That's like fucking professional level investigator. Shit, like I don't know if people understand. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have the most fucking. Fun. I, I mean, not that you're not capable of understanding. I just want to. I just want to be clear. <laughs> How hard this motherfucker went. On, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be degenerate nonsense, and Lady Rackets and I are gonna be together through all of it. And if you people out there don't understand that your 
partner, your spouse or whatever, is the person you go on the fucking adventures with. Go fucking get it. We're definitely watching all these again tomorrow, by the way. Because I know that not everybody, like, I don't even think everybody knew I was doing a show tonight. <laughs> we still had a great turnout, but I know some people just not going to see it at night. This We're going to have to play this again tomorrow. By the way, I already, do, I'm going extra on the show. We've been going a little bit longer. This is like the definition of cope. Yeah, you're right, Titanium. Yeah, is he having a breakdown? Honestly, you know what? This motherfucker needs some help. You. I mean, I, you know me. I hope he doesn't get it, but <laughs> what is he doing? People out there don't understand that it's a crisis, your yeah. partner, Mid-life crisis, your spouse yeah. or whatever is the person you go on the fucking adventures with. Go fucking get it. Go get it. Go get what? Tend to me, life doesn't. Rataka said three days what? my wife got railed by blacks. What a wacky adventure. <laughs> what a wacky. What a screwball. What a screwball comedy. Or this is a real slapstick. <laughs> the three stooges. <laughs> it was the, it was the three. Sp- <laughs> It was the three splooges instead of the three stitches. <laughs> it's an end of 55. Look, look, no, 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 no. Stop, ah, stop, stop. Ah. I'm giving me 14 years because I'm going to do a bunch of fucking crazy bullshit because I'm dumb, all right? I'm not putting any limit on you. What the fuck? I don't, I'm not trying to limit. I think you should go further with it. Honestly, I think you should completely liberate yourself. Anonymous sent $3 Ethan Ralph. Wanted dead. Location unknown. Right. Status, unabordable. Enemies vanquished. Total cozy victory. 2022 year of the Ralph. Kristen, I know your lefty male colleagues don't do it for you. I can give you a hand oh, though, sweetheart. That's quite an offer. It's so much better. It's so much better. Like, just fortress cozy. Being here, we came out on top on all these faggots. And <laughs> just like, they continue to crumble. I'm hoping I'm then they're then they're really slow on fag farms. He said somebody said what did he say? Ralph said he has pictorial evidence of Null's dick of his Michael dick. I don't have it. It's on Onion Farms. And he's posted online. I you know. Then they're really they're really just insanely they're so mad about me putting that reporter's email out. What's she going to do? Lie about me like the other bitches? Like, I don't give a fuck. I disrespect these reporters. Fuck them. They're scum. They should be in prison as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a shit. At least about 95% of them. Jutski is on a four-month streak. Kim, so glad you were back, Ralph. It was less than a week, but felt like months. I appreciate that. So some skank bitch emails me and lets me know she's about to um, run with some fake rape allegations that are, like, completely discredited in every way possible and wants to, like, pump me for information about Nick Fuentes and is he still your friend and da-da-da-da. First off, none of your fucking business, bitch. Second off... (laughs) You can check the public record. I already said Nick Flint is my friend. I don't give a fuck. Trying to like threaten me and fucking talking about revenge porn and all this shit. Are you still close friends with Nick? Do you have any comment? Yeah, I got a comment. Suck my dick. And the woman, and the reason I gave that comment about the fake rape is because, yeah, I gave a comment that that's full of shit. So when you run your trash store, you'll have to put that in there or get the fucking shit suit out of you. So that's why I gave her that comment. Fucking bitch. Yeah, why would I... What, I would be respectful to a person like that? 
who is obviously working with VHS Archive, by the way. It's, like, not even the question. I saw VHS Archive and all these random, like, all these people are supposed to be right-wing mad because I fucking put out the email of a Mother Jones reporter. These people are not right-wing. That's fake as fuck. It's like, oh, oh, all of a sudden they're mad about that. Oh, I see. I was probably because y'all are fucking interloper faggots the whole entire time, and you've actually just been trying to tear down some of the few effective uh, dissident right-wing programs like mine and Nick's, etc. And that's exactly what's been happening. Period. And they work together with just the salty faggots who just, norm, you know what I mean, somebody like a Judas, somebody like that, a Feaser. They're just useful idiots who will work together with those types. But that's exactly what's happened. They lost, but they're still trying to do that shit. Why am I going to give somebody like that respect? They fucking emailed me talking about um, completely discredited allegations, bringing up some bullshit case I had. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. You don't have my respect. I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. I don't give a fuck about you. Oh, horse face bitch. I guarantee you I make more money than you do too, cunt. A lot more. Wrong. But I'm I saw him coping on Kiwi Farms about the returns. Keep coping, bitch. I make more than you faggots too. I'm going to do a bunch of crazy shit for 14 years. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to smile through Slop all of pound. it. That's right. And I'm going to be holding, I'm going to be holding hands with lady. I'm going to grab her by the pussy and drag her with me. Right. What? And why the fuck wouldn't you? Why the fuck wouldn't you do that? All these people, all right, your kids are going to see this. Good. Good. If my kids see, if my kids learn that I enjoy having sex with their mom and that uh, they should do a bunch of fun shit with their spouses, fucking good. Like, Jesus Christ. Do you know how long it took me? My parents never talked about sex. Never. Until I was like 39 did they mention it ever. And only like very nervously. Jesus Christ. Like, I, I don't know what their sex life is like. Which, frankly, I'm I'm kind of fine with, I guess, just because I found my own way. But wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where is this going? I was actually looking off screen at the same time. I couldn't completely focus on what he was saying there. Let me hear that again. Yeah, this is. And why the fuck wouldn't you? This is weird. Why the fuck wouldn't you do that? All these people, all right, your kids are going to see this. Good. Good. If my kids see, if my kids learn that I enjoy having sex with their mom and that uh, they should do a bunch of fun shit with their spouses, fucking good. Like, Jesus Christ. Do you know how long it took me? My parents never talked about sex. Never. Until I was like 39 did they mention it ever. Did he want his parents talking about fucking each other around him all the time? Like, I thought most people were against that. Like, not that they shouldn't fuck, but I mean, what are they supposed to tell their kids about like their sexual escapades all the time? That seems kind of weird. <laughs> he's high. He's very high. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quote tweet this tomorrow too. We gotta get some more eyes on this. This is just an, this is a complete embarrassment. And only like very nervously. Jesus Honestly, God. this thing is making me want. <laughs> I swear. I feel like how I felt after I was <laughs> watching the Keno Casino. I went straight edge for like a month in September. He's, he's making me want to clean up further. Like, okay, I have, I'm not even, I haven't even been drinking that much, but this guy's in bad shape. Like, I, I don't know what their sex life is like, which frankly. I, and I don't I, think it's all alcohol. He's on, it seems to be on some other kind of compound. Like, Jesus Christ. Do you know how long it took me? My parents never talked about sex. Never. Until I was like 39 did they mention it ever. And only like very nervously. Okay. Jesus Christ. Like, I, I don't know what their sex life is like, which frankly, I'm, I'm kind of fine with. Like, 
What do you mean you're kind of fine with not knowing the sex life of your parents? Why aren't you completely fine with that? Because, yeah, kind of. What? Uh, I was very fine not knowing about the sex life of my parents. Matter of fact, I would have been horrified to know about the sex life of my parents. And what in the world is he even saying? Pete says he wants parent porn. I, I, oh God. <sighs> Mention it ever. And only like very nervously. Jesus Christ. Like, I, I don't know what their sex life is like. Which, frankly, I'm I'm kind of fine with, I guess, just because I found my own way. But what do you mean? They can't. T- Did he want his parents to teach him how to fucking throw dick? Like, what in the fuck? Hey, Dad, I, you know I'm not quite. I, the stroke's not really down. Can you can you bend Mom over here and just like kind of show me how it's done, Pop? Like, what in the fuck is he talking about? This is sick. What does he mean? He was peeping. Yeah. I don't even know. Like, yeah, hey, Dad. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm just not quite hitting it right. I know you got more experience than your mom. Could you just show me? Like, this is literal, like, insane California Berkeley type <laughs> mentality. What's he going to go nudist around his house with his kids now, too? Look at this guy and tell me he don't just look fucked up out of his brain. Look at him. Look at Nick Ricada. And tell me I didn't win 2022. Look at this sad sack of shit and tell me I didn't win 2022. Seriously. He's fucking dead in the eyes. He is absolutely broken. And I'm being loud, but it's not hyperbole. Look at this man on December 21st, 2022. And then think about where he was March 1st or April 1st when they were trying to peddle fake rape charges on me when he was sitting up there with others saying all kinds of shit. Now look at this guy. And by the way, I didn't talk to Elijah. But I heard that he was appreciative of my fair coverage of the situation. I don't know if we'll end up speaking or not. But uh, I did appreciate that because I do think I was fair with my coverage of the whole situation. So Let's finish this. Talked about sex. Never. Until I was like 39 did they mention it ever? And only like very nervously. Jesus Christ. Like, I, I don't know what their sex life is like, which frankly, I'm, I'm kind of fine with, I guess, just because I found my own way. But it kind of would have been nice to know that like if your parents are into each other or not. How do you think you got here? What do you mean? What do you mean? How do you think you were created, you dumbass? What do you mean, know if your parents are into each other? Did you really just want to hear your parents smacking ass every single night? This shit is sick. This shit is sick, and I will be quote tweeting this myself tonight. I can't, this might be even crazier than the other one, like, than, than the first one. That's just unbelievable. <laughs> Based friend sent three dollars. I'm so thankful that you're Thank back, you, my brother. nigga. I appreciate that. Oh, somebody mentioned Toe Chick. We shouldn't call her that. Um, Lisa Elizabeth. I would still like to have her on. Uh, and again, I didn't. Uh, I didn't talk to uh, Elijah, but I was told I gotta charge my other phone up because it's fucked up. By the way, um, but I was told by a mutual acquaintance friend, actually. Um, that but uh i only say that not to like stoke anything but to give him a little credit um 
that uh, you know, I was told that he he thought I'd been pretty fair with with the coverage. Um, when when that didn't have to be the case, I honestly still can't believe how bad they <laughs> they came off in that Twitter space. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, you know, I like to do things that are good for for us here at Cozy. So, um, but I haven't talked to him. Go ahead. Nick Ricada sent three dollars. Hey mom, hey dad, I need to step up the content for my OnlyFans. I mean, Lopez, <laughs> do you guys have any mini discs of you fucking from like two thousand? Mom, your shit is busted, but it's more aesthetic than Lavloon's pussy. Wow, very nice. This will do for OnlyFans. <laughs> By the way, I could have had her on tonight. Um, I need to talk to to Big Tech. I'm not against having her on the show. I just didn't really have a plan for it, and um. I wanted to talk about some of this stuff too and just kind of wrap with the chat a little bit. And then we had the James, of course we had James Edwards on for three hours, three and a half almost. So, um, but maybe at some point <laughs> chat, <laughs> he says, nah, fuck that clout chaser. Should I have her on? Chat doesn't even want me to have her on. I hate Mr. Girl, though. I wonder if she has dirt on. Nah, I'm too tired for tonight. Frankly, I'm, I'm kind of fine with, I guess, just because I well, felt my own way. But it kind of would have been nice to know that, like, if your parents are into each other or not. I'm going to leave it there. We'll pick it back up there. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.